Haynes has become a, a silly kind of a popular whipping boy for libertarians and conservatives. Uh, they they don't know what Keynes. Most of them have no idea what Keynesian economics is, where it came from, how different it is than other stuff. And and instead, uh, they 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 just Keynesian is just a it's a word of a program. It just mm -hmm. it's a synonym for I don't like it uh, yes. uh, for something that the people don't like, and they that they, um and and it's silly for all kinds of reasons. One is that. The most fundamental uh, claim of Keynesian economics, which is that occasionally uh, uh, things go bad because people aren't spending enough uh, one way or the other, it's true. It does happen. It does happen. Uh, investment collapses, could be consumption, but it's usually investment and uh can collapse for all kinds of reasons. The government can be to blame. Uh, central banks can be to blame. It often has to do with the failure of the banking system because what a banking system is supposed to do is uh, convert our desire to save with it into a corresponding uh, uh, into corresponding loan making. Right. So if I'm trying to accumulate deposits at my bank. And others are too, and nobody's trying to decumulate. Uh, that triggers, or should trigger, the 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 a corresponding growth in 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 lending by the banking system. What that means is, as I cease to spend money, somebody else will spend in my place, and the total flow of money through the economy will be maintained. What what uh, uh, what what Keynes argued and he wasn't by the way this wasn't original particularly <laughs> though he succeeded in getting more attention to it than others had uh, was that um when this happened steps have to be taken the government have to make may, or the central bank or if it has one and by then most countries did has to take steps to fix the problem and and uh uh, I would argue, and others in of, of the free banking persuasion would argue that when you have a good private banking system in the first place, instead of relying on central banks, why that's just exactly what it tends to do. It tends to make sure that, <laughs> that the banks tend to lend more when people try to save more, and it usually works okay. Anyway, the argument that there's a case uh that that it's possible that too little spending will cause trouble and that something has to be done and that governments may have to do it to get the spending back up that's the kind of central argument of of Keynes in policy we could argue about how they think spending should be revived fiscal versus monetary policy and all that but the fundamental claims are you know there's nothing wrong with them and they're not original with Keynes. If you go back before uh, 1936, when Keynes wrote the general theory, you find in the United States and elsewhere, plenty of other people who more or less argued the same thing. By 1936, it was actually kind of old hat to claim that uh, depressions or recessions are caused by people not spending enough and that fiscal or other policies are needed to revive spending. So... Um, that's that's there's more to Keynesian economics than that, of course, and I'm not saying that all of it is uncontroversial or fine or whatever. I am mm -hmm. saying that this kind of kernel of it is not something that people should it, 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 it be going out of their way to condemn. Yeah, well, I mean, it makes sense for me. Um, that people would give it a bad rap in general because they're kind of looking for a blanket. Uh, way to kind of explain what they don't like, you know? And yeah. I think that the source of that is thinking like, th yeah, yeah, like it is control really. Like people, I think when they're pushing back against Keynesianism, that's what they mean, I think. Yeah, well, Keynes didn't invent bad government policies. Right. In monetary, in the realm of money, those policies, as we were saying before, they go way, way back. So mm -hmm. it didn't take Keynes to 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 inspire governments to abuse money or to mismanage it. And 
the advice he did give, as I said, at least some of it, wasn't particularly bad. Um, oh, yeah, some of his arguments were bad. Gold standard people will, of course, dislike Keynes because he didn't have, he didn't like the gold standard. He was definitely a constructivist. He, he envisioned uh, managed paper money, saw it as ideal, tended to downplay the, the, the dangers of abuse of, of uh, managed fiat standards. And that was naive, uh, like a lot of, a lot of, like a lot of, um, uh, let's say liberal interventionists. He tended to assume that smart people like him would be in charge and would see to it that everything was done right and didn't really worry yes. too much about yes. uh, the possible abuses that could take place. So I'm not trying to defend everything that Keynes argued, but I am saying that treating him as a bogeyman, as a kind of symbol of everything that's wrong about economics or you know, government is is silly and um and and certainly it's a mistake to to imagine <clears throat> that uh it was only when Keynes came around that we started yes. to have it's a human really tendency government policy yeah. that's right i mean so so it just seems to be like that's what people uh look towards as a term to just kind of talk about what they don't like, as I said, but I mean, this traces back and back and back and back and back, like, it's human tendency uh, to want to have these accumulations of power to have good intentions, and then to abuse that power, all of that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> it's people like to be able to, you know, summarize their likes and dislikes with a single word, or in this case, a single person's name. Um, on the left, you say capitalism, and what you mean isn't some coherent thing that we all can understand the meaning of. You mean all the things about life that you don't like, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and you mm -hmm. call it that. And in the same way, some uh, conservative and libertarian people, you know, all the things they don't like about what governments do in the way of economic policy, they call Keynesianism. Right. It's just a name, but it's right. inaccurate. And capitalism, well, you know, maybe or maybe not. Uh, the 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 use the the pejorative use of capitalism is correct if you define capitalism explicitly as all the things you don't like, and then okay. But if you mean if you include the free market, or or want to confuse people, but want to make people if you really are referring to the free market, then you've got you know you've got to start. Uh, uh, clarifying that. What and, you mean? Uh, yeah. 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 So these terms, I, like, it's perfectly okay to criticize Keynes in economics if that's really what you're criticizing. It isn't right. okay to criticize it if you're just using Keynes in economics as a name or covering term for a whole bunch of things, some of which have to do with Keynes and many of which don't. <laughs>